He learned from his mentor, King Saul. He learned from his mentor, the king jealous of his anointing. You know, folk will become jealous of your anointing. See, what your anointing does, it, 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 it lays favor upon you. And, and all of us know the saying, favor ain't fair. But a guy can't do nothing about it. Joseph had favor. He couldn't do anything about it. And the Bible says that his mentor, King Saul, it said that he became jealous of the anointing that David had on his life. And, and he sought to destroy him. But God took care of him. God provided for him. God protected him. See, David learned through experiences that God would plant his feet, that he could stand and stand solid. Yes, sir. That he could stand in the face of whatever the issue was and not have to run and become weary. The, the Bible says that a double-minded person is unstable in all the ways. They learned that I can stand on the word of God and declare this is what the word says. And I'm standing on it. My faith won't be shaken because the word the winds are blowing and the, and the sea fields are rolling. I'm going to stand on the word of God. It says David learned this right here. He, he says if I begin to look to the hills from which comes my help, that God will establish me and he, and he won't fall asleep. He, he'll be there for the evening. In the midnight hour. In verses 7 and 8. He goes on and he says. And another thing. I, I, and the Lord shall preserve me. From all evil. All right. He shall preserve my soul. And the Lord shall preserve my going in. And, and my, my, my going out. And my coming in. From this time forth. Uh, David understood. Uh, that the Lord would preserve him. Uh, he learned this through experience. Uh, trial that God has brought you through. Every life bill. You didn't know how it was going to get paid. But you can walk in there this morning and flick on the lights. Every mortgage and rent payment. You didn't know how it was going to be done. But last night you slept under a roof. Every sickness that came in your body and tried to take you out. But today you're standing here and Send the song uh, and all never lie. Uh, you have to learn uh, you have to one of those experiences uh, that I know the Lord uh, will make a way uh, somehow. Uh, I don't know how, uh, but I can declare uh, yes, he will. Uh, yes, he will. Uh, yes, he will. Uh, I can't make sense out of it. Uh,
say God, I understand that I have to go through, but the Lord shall preserve me. That word preserve in the Hebrew language is Shemar. It means you put a hedge all around me. You protect me in the midst of trials. It says if the God He'll observe us and He'll keep us. It implies that trials may be permitted. God might allow us to go through some things, but it lets me know that whatever I have to go through, He won't allow me to go through more than I can bear. Somebody say, yeah. Oh my job, 